the cobblestone king. I should sell cobblestone at my store. That's what I should damn do. No one would buy it because <laughs> they'd be idiots. Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's One Life episode where we have one life. And we are, I don't know, is this episode 14, 15? I can't keep track, but I'm having so much fun with this series and I'm so happy you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, last episode, we created this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sanctuary for the cows, the sheep, and the piggy -anyas. So, um, I've been just growing them up, you know, letting them make babies and whatnot so that's been great i also added these two chests that have uh the wheat and the carrots to feed them but this is not what today's episode is about today we are going to create a rail system that's right so it gets frustrating because every time i want to go somewhere i get scared to go and also biggest thing is the blood moon Blood Moon, you have to stay inside. You can't leave your house. It's too dangerous. But I think I have a hack to do. I think what would be really cool is if I had an underground rail system that took me to spawn where there's a button that turns it to day. So once I see that Blood Moon rise, I hop in my cart and zip on over to spawn and hit the daytime button and no more Blood Moon. So... Obviously, that's not going to help me if I'm traveling somewhere, but if I'm at home and I want to build something outside um, and there's a blood moon, I can't. So we're going to build a little subway system. So I think it would be cool if like right over here, I create like a little subway system where like I go down into the ground and I'll have like a almost like a, a London underground thing here. So I'll go in through here and then I'll have it zip me to over there um, at spawn. So let's go take a look at spawn and let's um, make a waypoint so when we're underground we can tell which direction we're going. So let's just take our yellow brick road on over there and I'm so excited, this is gonna be so fun. And then I think um, if you guys think so, I kind of wanna um, create like a hub underground at this place at the at the spawn place so that will be kind of the hub and then create like an underground like subway station where we could link to other people's homes I think that would be so sick if it's like this big underground I don't know just system so here we go um, see this is the button let there be light tap that and it's daylight okay cool so I'm gonna put a waypoint right here and call it spawn ulation spawnulation okay cool so now i know where i'm digging from obviously it's not gonna come out right here i'll probably have it um be like an entrance there or something but let's head back home and let's get to digging and do our thing a villager what do you sell sir oh he's a shepherd 20 wool for one <gasps> Four emeralds for shears? What a ripoff. Sir, I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau and get you sent to prison for trying to scam a poor, innocent, one lifean boy. Oh, also, please leave me a suggestion in the comments down below of what I should make a store and sell at my store because I want to add one next to Lizzie's, um, but I don't know what to sell. I don't know. You guys give me some suggestions. It has to be something unique and something kind of rare just because uh, everyone's going to have the item. So I want to make sure my store sells well. Lizzie's selling bones, which I think is very smart because everyone needs bones. So I don't know. You guys let me know. Oh, you know what? I just realized I have 22 levels. I think I can enchant my diamond sword with all those enchantments. Hold on, let's see. Okay, advanced diamond sword. And then it had sharpness five, knockback two, and fire protection three. That's incredible. Oh, the fire protection. I can't use that on my sword, can I? <gasps> Dang. Okay, so it's really going to have knockback two and sharpness five which is fine, that's all I really need. So let's go head on over to here and let's enchant this. Well, let's see if we can. Okay, advanced diamond sword, sharpness five. Oh, we have just enough levels. Oh my gosh. 
sharpness five, and knockback two. Oh, advanced diamond sword! Oh my god. Now I want it to be nighttime so I can kill someone. Holy crap, I have the most biggest ultimate sword you could have ever wanted in your life. Hallelujah. Yes, God, elation. Um, okay. Well, I can't really test it out on animals because they're not gonna die. I mean, they'll die even with an iron sword. All right, we'll just hold on to it. Um, okay, so back to the rail system. I need to first get another pickaxe and probably another shovel. No, I'll just get another pickaxe. Okay, so I have a new pickaxe. I think it might be weird if I do it too close to there. So I think I'm gonna put the entrance just over here. I think this is a good place. Okay, yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to dig this all out and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm, I don't know when, we'll find out. Okay, guess what? I have made it to spawn, you damn alation! And I already, as I was coming here, it was sunset and I just hit daylight over here and it became day. So this path actually took really freaking long to make, holy crap. Um, but it just leads right here. So that's perfect positioning. And I'll make this look cute outside it too. I'll probably put like a subway sign or I don't know, we'll call it the underground. Um, and yeah, so this is the whole path. I need to get a rail system going. So we're gonna head home and make a bunch of railroads. And I'm so freaking excited. I don't know if this is high enough. I think it only needs to be that high because I'm gonna be sitting. Um, and yeah, the path is uh, annoyingly long. I feel like it takes longer to do this than it would to just be walk, but this is the safe place. And also, oh my gosh. Okay, do you see all those yellow dots? I don't remember this ever being a passage. Oh, look at all those yellow dots. I don't know if that's like a spawner or what it is, but damn, that's, that's scary. That's a, oh, you guys can't see, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to change the positioning of where I am right now. Ooh, I'm moving. Okay, so now you guys can see the mini map, which is probably way more convenient for all the times that I reference it. Uh, but yeah, there was a bunch of little yellow dots there that represent bad guys. So um, yeah, let's go home and make a bunch of railroads. Okay, so I'm back home now. Now let's see what it takes to make a railroad. Oh, what's this? Oh, trail mix. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need some power rails, um, an activator rail. I don't know what that is, but we're just gonna stick to power rail and regular rail. So we'll make a bunch of regular ones, which is just sticks and iron. Okay, and then for a powered one, it just adds redstone <gasps> and gold. I have to use my precious gold on a rail system? <sighs> fine, fine. Okay, well, let's get to crafting, shall we? We damn shall. Oh, I got so many more cobblestone. I'm the cobblestone king. I should sell cobblestone at my store. That's what I should damn do. No one would buy it because <laughs> they'd be idiots. Okay, let's make our rails and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done. Alrighty, so I've made a crap ton of rails and I also made some powered rails. I had to use my hard earned gold to make these damn ones. So it turns out every 26 blocks you need a powered rail. So um, I really hope that I have enough to get all the way there without wasting any more gold. <sighs> Was this really worth it? I don't know. I'm not really sure. But you know what? It's fun. So we're going to do it anyways. So we're going to have it start here. Um, I don't really know how people do this. Well, um, I feel like they there's always like a block here that you start on and it like glides down. Right? I don't know. So it said that you had to have four to power it up fully to max speed. So we'll do one. Girl, wrong way. What? Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, so we've used our four, and now every 25, I'm going to add another powered rail. Uh, so I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done making this lovely rail that's costing me a fortune. Alrighty, so I've made it all the way to spawnulation with my minecart, and I have 13 extra powered rails. Awesome. So now I need to make a mine cart, which I unfortunately did not make before I came. So we're going to head up to the surface, make it day, chop down a tree, make a crafting table, and make a damn rail cart. I think this is going to be real convenient and nice. Oh, daylight whenever I want it. Perfect. Okay, so let's get our axe out and let's chop down a tree. Oh, you know what? We just need this. That's all we needed. Perfect. I actually wonder... I haven't been here since the beginning. Wow, there's still some sugar boxes. Looks like someone didn't collect theirs. Are there still things in here? Who didn't want their shulker box? Rude and disrespectful. I'll take them if people don't want them. My goodness. Okay. So let's make our rail cart. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, there's, a, there's an enderman zippity zapping doo dah around. Oh, my God. Is he dead? Did he go? Oh, that was scary. I didn't like that. I didn't like that one damn bit. Okay, we're gonna make the mine cart inside here. Okay, so we have our thing. Um, and then to make it, we just need to go like this. Let's make a couple. Okay, so let's head on downstairs into the underground and place our mine cart and see if it actually, oh, I didn't place the damn redstone torches. Okay, well, Stupid me, Joey, Anya. Okay, let's um, let's do this. Oh, broke my pickaxe. Cute. That's what a redstone torch looks like. Okay. Right, so sit here. Hey, wait for me! Oh my god. Okay. Oh, come on, activate. Oh, I don't like that. I don't think I like that. Hey, 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 hey! Wait for me. There we go. Zippity doo dying around. I might make another layer above this so I don't get that suffocation damage that I almost just got. Wow, this is nice. I wish this went a little faster, but can't get everything we want, can we? You know what? We actually could if I just keep placing more rail things since I have so many. I could do them more often. I think it's just because I was going slow with not having the torches out ready. Okay, perfect. So let's break this. And I'll place this there. Oh my gosh, I did it! I've made it! Okay, I'm gonna try another practice run. We're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go. All right, I'm not gonna touch anything. Let's see how fast I go. Do I need more of these power rails? It doesn't look like it. It looks like I'm going max speed at the, from the get-go. Wow, this is so convenient! And it's so safe and secure. I wish I could make this into a rainbow, but boy doesn't have that much time on his hands. Okay, that's not going to work out. That's not going to work out at all. We need to expand that. Okay, hey, wait, I'm going to take you back. So when you get off, I need to make sure that there's headroom. So I need to go back and make a new pickaxe for that reason. Damn, I took half a heart for that. Okay, we're going home. Woohoo! Yeah, see, I made extra. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, no, 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 you're going the wrong way. Oh, that was annoying AF. Once you're in, you're strapped in. Well, that's annoying. Let's get another pickaxe and I'm going to work on um, creating this much cuter on both ends. And once I do that, I will check in with you guys and show you the final result. Okay, time for an update. But before we get to that, I haven't even shown you guys what I've done to the outside of the house. So I put a bunch of fairy lights completely around the house, um, still on the barn. And then I don't think I showed you, I guess I didn't point it out, but I put fairy lights here. What was that? Hello, who's there? Who's there? Maybe it was a sheep or something. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Interesting. I guess we can keep. <gasps> what happened to my cows? Oh, they're just all in the corner. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's um let's go take a look see at what I've created for the underground passageway. So this is what we're working with. I think it's really cute. It's like 
um, something you'd see going into the subway or the underground in London. And um, you just head down, gorgeous, gorgeous. And you just go in here. And I have to place the chest because I haven't done that yet. And then we'll put mine carts in there. And then, yeah, you just take it for an adventure. And that's that. I'm super happy with this. I think it turned out amazing. Um, I wish I could have done something grander and crazier, but I'm still very happy with this. This would, I think I could make this really cool if I was in creative, but unfortunately I'm not. And I'm kind of scared of bad guys spawning in here. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to cut out these corner pieces, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. Okay. So I just went over to the deco bench and I created some cool little signs. One for the rail cart, which I'm just going to call it a mine. Um, and then I got one for the stable and one for the piggy farm. Although it's called a butcher's sign, which is kind of sad, but anyways, let's place this right here. Yeah, that's like a mine cart rail thing <laughs> i don't know it looks cool i mean it's a mine cart so sure you know what we're just gonna go with it now let's head over to the stable and place one over there as well um i think it might be oh oh that's our sheep that we let survive um i don't know maybe we have it on this side oh that's cute maybe i should do a second one on the other side oh i live for that that's so cool. Okay, and then the last one is a butcher sign. So let's see where we can put that. Goodness gracious, there's so many <laughs> vines. Um, let's put it right here. Oh, oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> the butcher one. Oops. Okay, I don't know about these vines. There, there are a lot of them. This one's just too crazy. Like, that's ridiculous. I have to just get rid of these. I think it was just a little too much with the vines. I kind of wish the vines wouldn't grow, but I understand why they have to because they're vines. Oh, another thing you guys told me in the comments was the fact that I, if I make a mistake and there's something I don't like in the deco bunch, I can just put the old things back in and then I don't have to worry about it and you also said that the curtains if I get multiple curtains they'll go on top of each other so let's try that again so we'll place that up there that looks a little too high maybe we can place it on the actual okay that might be better um you said if you keep placing them next to each other it will attach to it so let's try that but also let's bring back the ones that we know we don't want we don't want the bed and we don't want the vanity or this um and you guys also decided you wanted the dark oak stairs so there's that oh she did not enjoy that she crashed well she's back now isn't she so let's see if we can place in the old oh wow yes give me give me my things back please love this a refund thank you for refunding me all this trash that i didn't ever want okay so now let's go to the curtain and let's test this i believe i have the razzle color oh i can do multiple okay let's do seven oh and let's put this back in the shelf there we go all right let's just see if what you guys said was true or false shall we oh me oh my okay <gasps> wow oh i think it should go higher though let's try that oh interesting interesting here let's go like this Oh, that's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it's just supposed to be... I don't know. Ah! What was that? Oh, that was creepy. That was scary. I don't know about these curtains. Do I like them? Do I hate them? I don't know. Maybe they should be along this. That could be interesting. That way it's not actually blocking anything. Oh, that's kind of cute. I kind of live for that. Okay, cool. Well, um, I guess I should probably go get more of these. Yeah, that's, that's neat. I'm down for that. Okay, cool. Okay, something's going on. It's not letting me 
select this. So I feel like there's something wrong, even though I have plenty of things. Maybe I need more clay, even though it says I don't need it. It only needs three. <sighs> okay, well, you know what? I think, I think I need a break. <sighs> okay, so it's the next day and I, uh, there's been drama going on with the server. So basically I had an issue. Let me just explain this. So I was working on my deco bench because I was like, oh, I want to put shelves in my house. And there I am trying to get stuff out of my deco bench and it's not working. And then I crash out of the game. And so then I can't get on the game. So I'm like, Lizzie, you helped me once. Can you help me again? Can you go to my house and cr crack open my deco bench so I can log in? And it worked. And it was midnight when this all happened and I log on and I hear spiders in my house and I'm like okay I gotta go we gotta sleep so Lizzie's like should we sleep and I was like yes so all of a sudden I hear zip zoop zippity doo dah zippity day my oh my what a wonderful damn day enderman zipping around my house and I'm like okay huh I go into my basement because I'm like oh if I go where it's like two levels above me or whatever they can't get me I run into two Slendermen in my damn staircase, and then I just logged out. So I'm scared to hop back on. I could be potentially attacked by two Endermen right now. We're gonna log on. We might log right out immediately, but we're just gonna we're just gonna see what's going on. <sighs> Hello, who's there? Are they gone? Okay, I think they're gone. Sword at the ready. My diamond sword could kill you in one hit. Don't even dare try anything. Hello? Okay, so they were in the staircase. Just look down at your feet, Joey. Just look down. Are they there? Oh my gosh, okay. Wow. That was intense. That was scary. That was real. That was stupid. I don't like that at all. Oh, that wasn't fun. I didn't like that at all. That was so terrifying. I saw my light flash before my eyes and it was not cute. Well, anyways, now that we're back, I can talk to you. So this was the Krusty Dim Deco Bench, which I'm gonna try moving back to its rightful spot. So how do I break this? With an ax? Sure. Come here. It's time for you to, oh. Okay, perfect. Place you right there. Okay, now let's just leave it alone. And so, catching up on some things, I put the grinder uh, into the furnace thing over here. And you guys, remember how I had the chest down below? Well, guess what? You don't get any experience when it goes directly in the chest. So, how dare you put that on me to not get any experience? Rude and disrespectful. Last time I ever listened to you guys. Just kidding, I love you guys so much. Um, <laughs> So I'm just gonna collect this, um, put this in here. Uh, but yeah, this goes out to everyone on the server. Let everyone know because I think you guys have all been telling everyone to do something like this and it's causing us to not get the full experience we could potentially be getting. So there's that. <sighs> we also still need to give Lizzie a gift. This is the tech Tekken second time she's helped me so we need to think of some good gift ideas and go surprise her next episode with some gorgeous things i'm thinking since we have so many damn diamonds we could give her a couple stacks of diamond like diamond blocks or something i don't know maybe i could give her a stack of like a bunch of things like i could give her a gold block a diamond block a peridot block a coal block, you know, just a bunch of blocks. And then it would be like a smorgasbord thing. And she'd like that, maybe. I think that, but if you guys have any other suggestions, please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I'm just gonna go outside and make sure there are no more bad guys out here. Oh, I'm scared. I need to go on the roof and put lanterns up there. So let's, let's do that. Let's go make some lanterns up there. Let's get some stuff. Ugh. Since I'm going on a risky mission right now, I am going to put a golden apple, even though I have half a heart that I could spare. We can't risk it. If we're going up up to the stars, we need to be cautious, careful, cool, calm, and collected. Got it? Get it? Good. Okay, let's make our way up right here. Make sure no bad guys are up there. Okay, get our torches at the ready. Place one up here. Gorgeous. 
Now let's go up. We can't have bad guys be spawning up here now, can we? No, we certainly cannot. Yes, torching this all up. Torching it for the gods. Okay, literally so many torches. Oh, so basically, um, when I got logged out, <coughs> when the freaking deco bunch logged me out, and then... There I go, I'm in my way, I'm done with it, I'm like over it, like I can't deal with it, like... I'm just done for the day. And then Liz is like, hey, can you sleep? And I was like, I'm not even on the server, what are you talking about? And she's like, um, it shows that you're on. And I was like, wait, what? So that's when I logged on and I s figured out the deco bench still had me logged in and it was super glitched, Anya. And so yeah, that's my story. Um, if you enjoyed that story and you want to hear more stories, give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get up here, let's place some torches. In all the crevices make sure no bad guys can spawn up here I've seen some creepers in my day up on the rooftop click 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 down through the chimney it's old Saint Nick huh <sighs> okay well now that our rooftop adventure is concluded I feel a lot better and a lot safer Woo -wee! made it out alive fabulous gorgeous wonderful um, I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's too boring to just be white? Should I add a color to it? I don't know. It's kind of nice. I love this. Look at my property. Let's just have a recap of everything that I have going on right now. We have my gorgeous blue house. We have my red stable. And we have my pink barn. Um, I also got rid of a lot of the vines because they were just too much. And um, I've kind of just limited them. Limited to. And yeah. It's super cute. I'm gonna keep growing my farm up. I feel like the cows just keep getting, they're not growing in size. Are they dying? Hello, come on over here. Everyone, if you're a cow, come over here. Hello, hi, yes, reproduce, reproduce, reproduce. Hello, sheeple. Oh, glorious, yes, everyone. You get a pregnant belly, you get a pregnant, oh, I'm out of wheat. I need to go to my wheat farm. Oh, wait, give me that experience first, and then I'll go to my wheat farm. This is a nice, safe way of getting experience. There are too many of you guys. Just one little swipe. Sorry. I don't know how you survived my sharpness five attack. You should all be dying in one hit. Don't you know who I am? I love that you can get experience by making pigs have babies. Hey, get, get in there. Nope bad. <gasps> a child. A child has escaped. No, you cannot. You get in there, young lassie. <sighs> that was a close one. Okay. Well, um, I also want to figure out, oh, what's this? Hello. A box. Orange cave crystal and thanks by Yami. Thanks for what? Cave. Oh, let's read this book. Dear Joey, I took two of your cows, but made them have babies before I did. That's where all my cows are going. Thank you for unwillingly sacrificing them to my leather cause. In return, have these beautiful crystal blocks. What crystal blocks? Oh, these ugly orange blocks. I see. A uh, good day. Orange isn't my favorite color, but I appreciate the gift. Rat girl. Let's see. Hmm. They are shimmery. Where do you get these? What the heck? I want crystals. Do they have other colors of this? Hold on, let's see. Cr crystal, crystal cave. <gasps> oh my goodness! What is this indigo blue? Oh my, of course she gives me the ugliest one available. Okay, not that I don't appreciate the gift. I don't. Um, <laughs> can you dye them? Can I dye them? Wait, what happens if I break them? Oh, gorgeous. Okay, well, maybe one day we'll have uh, a use for these orange ones. Um, but sadly, that day is not today. So um, let's put these away and uh, let's call this an episode. So thank you everyone for watching. A reminder, please give me a suggestion of what I should give Lizzie as a gift in return for saving my life, not once, but twice. All right. That's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Good damn bye.